All right, so I just bought me some Mate Series. I'm going to replace my cup holders here with a rod and cup holder combination. Can't talk today, guys. It's been raining all day, so it's a little bit wet. Uh, in order to do this, never done this before, but um, in order to do it, you're going to need a drill, drill bit. You're going to need some marine sealant. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver to pry this part open right here. This part is just glued in, and you're going to need to purchase with your Mate Series two adapters to plumb it. Uh, this is actually on their website. I think it's like 75 cents. But when you order the cup and rod holder, that's pretty neat. Come with a little, come with a little huggy. Probably gonna keep that. But you can see this little nipple right here. This screws into it right there. So make sure you order both of them. If not. You're gonna have to wait for this piece to come in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some, I got some 30 pound braid. I'm gonna use that to cut the glue around here that's holding this piece in. And then I'm going to unscrew the cup holder right here and unscrew um, the speaker here. I think I'm gonna have to use these two areas to get access in. But I'm gonna cut this glue right here and knock this part out. Here you can see that this little tube is connected right here. You can see right there. So I gotta pop that off, put this new one on, and this is why you have to unscrew. Oh, you just dropped it. But this is why you have to unscrew here because you're gonna have to be able to reach in through your arm and replumb it that way. There's no way to do it from this angle right here. Place this in. I, from all the research I've done, that this is supposed to be almost a perfect fit. They look just like the ones that are in the back of the boat, have three screws, and I believe this might actually even be the same brand. And luckily, it, it, it is a perfect fit. Right there. All right, so I'm going to mark the holes. Let's see if I Okay, so I just got the area cleaned off. Uh, I was able to remove all the silicone uh, just using the flat hand screwdriver. So when you order this, it, you have the choice to pick either the wood screws or you can get the machine screws. If you're installing this in the back of your boat where you might be doing high speed trolling or some just something that might be putting a lot of pressure on this, you're probably gonna want to go ahead and get the steel backing plate that comes with this. Uh, but this being up front, I'm not really planning on using this as trolling. I also got the zero degree one here, so I didn't get the 30, 30 degree or the 15 degree. Um, that's just kind of a personal choice. It's kind of up to you guys how you wanna do it. On um, the 30 degree or the 15 degree would be good to kind of point out the rods out a little bit. If you had kids up here kind of fighting it, I'm kind of using it more of just a rod holder to put in here and then let it drift um, towards the front right here. But And I wasn't sure if there was going to be enough room um, if I had the 15 degree. So I was kind of just being a little conservative, but it definitely looks like if you had the 15 degree, um, there's plenty of room in there to have it. So uh, that might be something that you guys would want to do here. But I'm about to mark this and make sure I have this lined up where I have it pointing up and down. There's a little bar in there. And so when I put in a rod and lock it, 
I just want to make sure it faces out um, or faces straight up. I just don't want it to be cockeyed like that. And I think I, I got it about where I want it. And about right there. There's a little bit of room it looks like in here that I'm gonna have to fill in with silicone. But it doesn't look too bad. So I'm gonna mark it here with my pencil and then drill my holes. Alright, I just drilled my holes right here and right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the plastic nipple here and plumb it before I, I put silicone on and screw it in place. I actually had to get another tool uh, to better get this screw out right here. Right that uh, my screwdriver was just too big and I was hitting the cushion. Uh, so I went ahead and got this to get that screw out right here. Just got the two screws out. And I'm going to slide this piece out and it's going to come disconnected from the tube here. And we'll end up taking the speaker off so we can connect this back here so that's why you gotta take both off but i'm going to use this port here to connect the plumbing um, to the rod slash cup holder let's see if i stick it in here you might gonna see what i'm doing here all right well, i'm about to plumb it up all right so i got the little tube the plumbing tube and i just reached my hand in through there and grabbed it with my other hand here and so there's not a lot of slack in it and so I am about to connect this to the plumbing I really don't have anybody to hold the camera so I would show it to you real quick but I'm gonna have to put the camera down and do that I'll see if I can really don't know if that's a good view or not but When I was trying to plumb it through the hole, there's actually not enough slack in it to get it. So what I'm going to do now is I pulled it through this end so I have plenty of slack to put this nipple on. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the nipple on and then I will screw it in to the rod, uh, to the cup rod holder right, right up here just because the limited amount of slack that I have in the hose. All right, so I just got it on. Uh, something else that you're gonna need is a zip tie because the white ones, these pop off, but um, it's actually too, too small to fit around this nipple here. But I ended up just putting a zip tie on and it looks like it's gonna work. So I'm gonna push it back through and then screw it into the rod slash cup holder. So I got this piece out and I'm about to screw that piece on. So what I did was just use a pair of channel locks to hold the nipple still and I screwed in the cup holder onto the nipple. Alright so I got it all plumbed up and now I'm about to lift it up and put some 3M marine adhesive sealant on it to make it watertight and just to help hold it in place. I just put the sealant around the edge there. I didn't put it over the holes so I could still line up the holes pretty easily. I put a generous amount and I'm about to put it in place and screw it in and we'll be done. So I just partially screwed in all the screws into their pre-drilled holes and I did this um, just to keep the holes aligned when I screw in this one and this one. I'm just going to kind of work them down evenly to keep it from torquing too much. This might be a trick that you find handy. That is the finished product guys. I'm telling you this is super easy. This doesn't take long at all. I'm gonna put a rod in it real quick and see how it goes. The only thing I have left now is to put this piece back on. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna unscrew the radio here and slide this piece on and you reach my hand through here and to put the nipple on right there. And then we'll be all done. But this is the finished product is what it looks like. 
super easy, not hard to do. But let's see what it looks like with the rod in it real quick. All right, here it is, guys, finished product. Um, still have that little part right there I'm gonna do next. But this is what it looks like with the offshore rod in it. Um, this is the zero degree here. Kind of thinking I probably should have went with the 15 degree, but I don't think it's gonna really be bad. I think the main purpose of this is what I'm gonna use it for is when I put my inshore rod on here, just to have a place to hold it when I'm fishing on the bow like this. That's really the main thing what I really wanted it for. Um, was fishing on the bow and then if I have a pop of cork just out drifting um, it fits good right here and the boat's tilted back right now so that's why you kind of see it leaning towards the back a little bit but I think this is going to work perfect and more importantly you know it is a rod holder but it's also a beer holder so this is what it looks like with the beer in it looks pretty good a little wobble up room in there but that's just like the back one and the one that the, the Rabal boat, the one with the Rabal comes in, the one with the Rabal has that little part right there that will drop in, but it looks like it holds it good. And then for the non-beer drinkers, your Coke, Coke fits in there perfect. It does just exactly what we want, especially if you had your Huggy on here. Where's my Huggy at? Give Mate Series a little advertisement here. Let's put our Huggy on. Put our huggy on and man that, that's it right there they must have known they must have known that it fits perfect but that is perfect right there all right guys i'm gonna give you all a little secret there's a coupon you can actually put in and get 20 percent off and i'm gonna go ahead and tell you right here on the video put in cayman spell it c-a-y-m-a-n get instant 20 percent off um, it's also on the Rabala boat page but if you don't see it there, you saw it here on this video, give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. I don't care if you subscribe really, but it does makes me feel good on to see people liking the videos. I'm gonna finish up here, guys, for you to kind of see how I do this part. And hopefully go night fishing tonight and try out these rod holders. I am finishing up on the right hand side here, the starboard side. You see, I just took off the speaker here. There's just a couple screws in. So what you can do here is reach through like this and then you can push this piece on. I don't know if you can see my hand, but you can push this piece on to that part up there. And that is it. So you, that's why you have to take off this piece, this piece. And so you can get access to this, to this. And then once you're finished up, you just screw that up and you're done. All right, I wanted to come back real quick to show you guys this side. Um, this side did not come off as easy as that side did. I've been working on it for about 10 minutes now. The braid, it didn't really work on this side. I couldn't, I mean, you can see it's all kind of tore up here. It didn't really work good on this side. But um, what is working is the flathead screwdriver and then putting pieces of cardboard uh, from the box. And it's starting to come up right here. This might actually be, you can see how it's starting to, to come up but i gotta put some more cardboard and just keep working it but this side is glued down a lot better than the other side was just wanted to kind of finish up with a quick update on the port side you do not have to take off the speaker or this cup cup holder because you have access to it right here on starboard side you do because your ice chest is completely enclosed and insulated all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did, and I'll see you on the water.